<laughs> what we got here? A little detour. A little detour protein bars. Oh, just got my sweet potatoes cooking. What is going on, guys? I just got a package from Jazzwinder Singh. Sorry if I butchered that, but um, um, reached out to me and wanted me to do a little review for you guys. <clears throat> so, first of all, this place is called XS Sports Nutrition. Um, he sent me over the product guide, um, which talks about all the different products that he sent over to me. Sent me all of these products right here. All right, so he said, thank you for getting back to me. We'd love to get your feedback. Um, once again, man, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. So we have a hydrate. I think this is more like a goo. Um, Energize, some bigger samples of Energize. He sent me Recharge, which is a uh, protein powder here. Um, he sent me some Energize bars, chocolate chip bars. Let me a protein bar. We have some more energized bars. The team flavors of these energy drinks. Um, they're only eight calories. Once again, thank you so much for sending this over to me. I just wanted to get everything together here and show you guys. We have these hydrated packets, the energized protein bars, um, carb bars, protein, and energy drinks. So I am currently about to walk outside. Got everything packed up. We're gonna have one of these hydrates. Damn, everything you could need and seven grams of carbs. So I'm just gonna have this right before my workout. So I wanna be real with you guys. Uh, a couple of days ago, I had a really low day in the gym. Uh, not only was it low mentally, but mainly the physical reason is why I'm telling you. Halfway through my workout, I started to get blurry vision. Um, I got home and I broke out in my sweats, um, profuse sweating, I had chills, and uh, I decided to have a, an uncontrolled refeed. I tracked everything, but um, it wasn't certain numbers or anything like that. Long story short, I ended up uh, eating about 5,000 calories and I weighed in about three pounds heavier the next day. Fast forward two days later, and I'm back down to a new low, even though I started following the same macros I was following before. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, but like I said, today's leg day, so this is the test. We'll see how everything goes. Also, I know it was hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Um, I just need to be a little bit better at timing my meals. Um, having more carbs pre-workout, having more carbs possibly during my workout um, and toward the end of my workout, if not right after. I didn't show you guys, but I had four rice cakes with a banana, 24 grams of PB2, and four ounces of deli meat. Um, and then I just had that hydrate from XS Sports Nutrition that was seven grams of carbs. So I had roughly 60 grams of carbs and now I'm on my way to the gym. All right, so I figured I would do a little voiceover for you guys. Um, here I am squatting. Uh, I told you guys I was at a new low of 168 pounds. Um, today was my day of six to eights for squat. I ended up hitting 335 pounds for three sets of eight. Um, with a higher heel, with these Romelios that you see me wearing, um, I've found that if I still high bar, but put it just a little bit lower than normal, uh, it feels a lot more comfortable. Um, squats and deadlifts have been feeling off ever since I moved to Cincinnati, and that's just because it's been so difficult for me to adjust to a new training environment, um, a new bar, a new rack, um, and be able to adjust to working as much as I do. Um, so after squats, I moved on to a leg press, which you will see right here. 
Um, I've actually started doing my leg press with my Romelios on. Um, I actually feel more stable, which makes sense. Um, but the biggest thing is I feel it more in my quads and uh, actually got a really good quad pump pump from this ended up hitting sets of 15 I believe this is 590 pounds for four sets um, and I'm sure somebody's gonna ask about the crazy socks um, I actually wear two pairs of socks when I do leg day because my feet are so skinny um, it actually just helps me feel more secure and more stable um, after the leg press I moved on to a goblet squat which is not filmed the goblet squat is just a more mind muscle connection thing that I'd like to do after I do squats. Here I move to a straight leg deadlift. I try to have a complete pause at the bottom. Um, as you see as I get a little bit more fatigued, um, sometimes I touch and go. Sometimes I drop it all the way and reset. It just depends on each rep. Um, I try to stay as consistent as possible. But I ended up getting two different angles of this so you guys can see it. But I really hope you enjoy this Lift Life series. Um, please like the video, share, and subscribe. It would help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. All right guys, I just finished up my workout. Um, it was legs as you saw, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little voiceover I just did. Um, it's been a real busy day. I worked in the morning. Um, I ended up working in the afternoon from 12 to three. Um, went to the vitamin shop. Um, it was a pleasure working with them and doing some in-body assessments for the people of Cincinnati. If you're ever in the Cincinnati area, check out the vitamin shop at Rookwood. So I'm actually going to drive home and head on over to a Kroger or Rimke and pick up some spinach and lettuce for tonight. So I just got home uh, from my workout. I am going to head on over to Rimke. Um, it's a local grocery store. I'm gonna pick up some spinach, um, some other vegetables, some iceberg lettuce, some romaine lettuce, um, and I'll show you guys what I bring back. Also, Keep that lift apparel. Link in description box, guys. That's my apparel. Please check it out. Um, purchase something. You know, I'd love it if you supported me. All right, so I just got back from the grocery store. I told you guys what uh, that I was gonna get some stuff and show you. So we have parts of romaine. This was on sale, two fifty. Um, spinach. Gonna make a salad tonight. Um, Vidalia onions. So this is just a quick trip. Um, carrots were on sale for 88 cents, so I picked up some baby carrots. Um, zucchini was on sale. Zucchini squash. Um, grade A large eggs. Um, giant Sprite Zero. I'm gonna have that whole thing tonight. Just kidding. Uh, these are red tomatoes, which I'll chop up, put them in my salad as well. Uh, this I've never had before, but it was $1.50 on Markdown. Uh, it's some type of uh, smoked onion dip, and it's a Greek yogurt. Macros are crazy good for a serving. It's one fat, two carbon, three protein, so I'm going to try this out. Made with Greek yogurt. And we have iceberg lettuce here. Last thing, we have some uh, spaghetti that's been sitting in the pan for 24 hours. We lost power last night, so 